The world's second largest mining corporation, Rio Tinto, lost its CEO on Friday. Jean-Sebastien Jacques forced to resign over a controversy which goes back to May when the mining corporation decided to destroy a 46,000-year-old indigenous heritage site in West Australia in its hunt for iron ore. Archaeologists had been able to show continued human connection to that site for that 46,000 year period, the mining corporation decided to destroy it anyway. That provoked outrage from the indigenous community here in Australia who said it was the degradation of their culture, outrage from politicians too, and stakeholders have now got on board. Some of Australia's largest pension funds, heavy investors in Rio Tinto, demanding that they see somebody take the blame for that disastrous decision back in May. Today, Rio Tinto released a statement reading, we are determined to ensure that the destruction of a heritage site of such exceptional archeological and cultural significance never occurs again at a Rio Tinto operation. What happened at Jukan Gorge was wrong. Now, Rio Tinto had previously apologized for doing the destruction of the site. It had cut bonuses to Jean Sebastien Jacques, as well as the head of its iron ore section and the head of its corporate affairs section, they too lost their jobs on Friday. Perhaps a lesson here for Australian businesses, miners in particular, in dealing with native title contracts in Australia and the care that needs to be taken forward into the future. Mining is, of course, one of the shining lights of the Australian economy at the moment, which dipped 7% of its GDP in Q2, entering recession for the first time in 29 years. Angus Watson, CNN, Sydney.